Okay, uh, one show I do would like to talk about is Aqua Teen Hunger Force. That show I'm watching again on HBO Max, and I also watched it when it was syndicated on Cartoon Network uh, slash Adult Swim. That show was funny to me because it went on for 15 years strong. Uh, my favorite character has to be Master Shake. I don't know why, it just because he was just so stupid. And Carl, he always got tied in with Frylock, Master Shake, and Meat Wan. And then I, I didn't like the Moon Knights, if that's what I forgot, the little pixel little thing, the 8 bit. I didn't like them. I didn't, I didn't like them aliens. I, I just did the space cartes. I did not like them at all. Um, but as how the show went on and progressed over the years, um, I really enjoyed. Actually, I discovered this show in 2003. I was 13. It was summer 03. And this was the same time, I believe, Case Closed um, was airing on Toonami or Adult Swim. Excuse me, not Toonami, Adult Swim. And i never forget the lineup. It was two episodes of Family Guy. And then it was two episodes of Aqua Teen Hunger Force in Case Closed. And then they might have had another anime. And then they... Uh, got to another shows like another cartoon i can't it's fuzzy but uh i do know cowboy bebop came out once in a while in the summertime um in the late nights but that's just getting negating from the whole topic aqua teen hunger force was so freaking hilarious i love the old look it had the painted animated look well you could tell it had this uh, Smith Micro type of animation. Uh, that if you don't, understand, don't know what Smith Micro, that's is kind of like another anime um, program. You actually can buy that actually, um, and it also had like in the background was like painted, like you can see the precise painting in the back. It was it was a good show. Um, another thing about that show I enjoyed was it knew how to continue dialogue like the dialogue in every episode seemed fresh it seemed like it seems like you know you, you once you hear it once you never hear it again and if you did hear it again it's because they recap it on a show probably like four or five seasons ago you know previous you know and it was a very well crafted show it's not for everybody. I'm going to just tell you that right now. It's not for everybody. If you have a very loose um, expectation, if you don't really have too much of a high expectation on a show, and especially for an adult swim show because it was so weird and it was so out there, like it, the, it, like, it feeds off of the imagination. Like the, It gets to the deepest, darkest part of your imagination. That's what type of show this is. It's like if you're just looking for crazy, looking for wild, looking for something bizarre, Aqua Teen Hunger Force was probably a show for you or most likely a show for you. If you have never seen Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it's possible that some people never heard of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, especially um, if you were younger or 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 older but you never really watched uh the adult swim but you might have kind of stopped at a certain time you didn't watch it because you had to be up like at least 12 o'clock one o'clock midnight just to see aqua Teen hunger force or you get a chance to do it on hbo max please watch that show if you have never seen aqua Teen hunger force uh, before and on top of that um, I, I do know they canceled Aqua Teen Hunger Force in 2015 and it was it's dubbed as a cancellation. I'm actually happy they kind of canceled it. It is not because I didn't like the show or was falling apart. They canceled the show that it did save the show because if they would have kept it going, it would have eventually got stupid to the point where you want it off, you know, and it would have got really bad. Kind of like the Boondocks, you only you have four seasons of the Boondocks, but it wasn't over, you know, told. You know, like the Simpsons. You know, the Simpsons had a purgatory and a dark years. You know, I think personally, the Simpsons should have took a break. You know, 
in those years and that's my personal opinion i know they were they wanted to get to 30 you know but i still say hey you know they should have took a break you know but but that's the simpsons though but the aqua team hunger force you have to see the show and then they also had the um they had two shows that was no longer called aqua team hunger force as it was called man what was it it was called it was called You Know Whatever or something like that. And they had another one. Oh, I got to go back and see it. Um, I might do a follow-up. I might do a follow-up on this video. But, um, yeah, just go check it out. It, you know, I, I loved everything about the show. And it, it, and also, you just feel the grit and the grittiness of this show. You really felt it. You know, for a cartoon... When a car, when you can feel a gritness to a cartoon, like it feels like kind of like a little real life to it too. Then they did they done their job. This wasn't like a wacky show. I mean, this was a wacky show like Super Jail or Mr. Pickles or what's the other one or um, what's another stupid show on Cartoon Network that's going on currently right now. Um, American Dad, I guess you can say, but no, it wasn't really like that. Uh, what's another show on Cartoon Network that's like really crazy? I get ah uh, shoot, it can't come. I I can't think of one right now. But this show it, it stayed in its own lane. It didn't try to leak off to somewhere else. It whatever they presented that was Aquatine, and whatever they they stayed in their own imagination they stayed in his own territory their own universe they didn't leak out to somewhere else you knew when you watched it you knew what it was carl was just a freaking idiot like carl was trying to be like the sane individual and then he and when you realize when you watch the show like he is just exactly like them <laughs> even though that he hates them he say he hates them he's kind of like the squidward you know of aqua team on the force he's still gonna find his way involved with them some way shape or form even if he do not want nothing to do with them he will be the main one to get the worst of the worst of the worst uh punishments of all times like for an example the trees when carl and Master Shake went out to pour the gr hot some grease, some old grease out into the forest. They, <laughs> Master Shake got out of there. Carl got uh, kid, well he got kidnapped by the tree, and they was using his skin as paper. Oh my goodness! And they were just ripping it off of his flesh. That was freaking funny. Or the time when Carl fell off a house and broke his neck, and they had to use these rods to put it back in. And he was in pain. I think that was the wedding episode. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Through the blow up dolls and all this stuff, and it just did it. Aqua, you need to see Aqua Team Hunger Force. You just have to see it. <laughs> And Master Shake, I loved his eye lasers where he, he can blow up stuff just to get them out. Because that was like the last um, second resort. If, 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 if that, that was basically like, hey, if we can't make it out of here without using violence, we're going to use my laser eyes and blow everything up. You know, that was Frylock's um, ultimate weapon. And Master Shake, he try to talk his way out of things. And one thing about Master Shake, he do talk, know how to talk with himself out of something. But Carl always ends up on the other end of the stick. It's like, okay, Master Shake, uh, okay, you can talk your way out of it, but we still need somebody. And it's always Carl. Meatwad stuff barely happens to Meatwad in in, in, a, in, a, in a disastrous way. And if it does, it's Carl always eat the bullet basically and it's like what in the world and this dude always ate the bullet for the for actually it was more Frylock and Meatwad and mostly uh, not Frylock uh, Master Shake and Meatwad it was always him that doing something to get them in trouble there was one that Meatwad got himself into it was what the musician called MC Poopy Pants, it was it Spider. Oh, I can't think of his name. He was a rap he was a, a rapper from hell, you know, it was ridiculous. And he oh my god, it was ridiculous. And uh that was probably one of my favorite episodes up there. I need to go back and watch some of the episodes because a lot of some episodes was fuzzy because so many episodes, but 
um the brood was this the brood with sandwich that was a crazy one um the uh, the mummy in the basement that was that was a creepy one that was just a little bizarre uh the vamp bats that was a crazy episode that one uh that was way too, i can't remember too much of that one the t-pain episode we probably i think it was the uh the one after the 100 episode i believe t-pain did a pretty good job doing uh, uh frylock that was funny and then they actually had a guy doing master shake the legit live action um one episode of aqua Teen hunger force that was good um, they really, you know, like I said, they really, it was really rare you had a really bad episode. You, and they also had one where they had this German band. This was on the later ones. I think this was like a 2012, um, show. Um, they had, um, one, they had, yeah, it was a German band. It was Raising the Dead. It was skeletons attacking the, but uh, it was in a gymnasium or something. I, I barely remember this one. That was a pretty good episode. And there was and there was another one called um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Show Show. I think that was the one. That was a whole like their own little arc, which it was still a season. It was it was on its own season, but it was like its own little uh, ten episode arc. That was pretty cool. This episode getting way too long. Uh, what was another one? Uh, the very first episode, Rabbit, or excuse me, Rabbot. That was pretty cool. I don't know why I was saying that. Uh, then it, it also came back. And another, Dr. Weird. If if you don't know who Dr. Weird is, that was the introduction when the show first started in that big giant castle in New Jersey. That was Dr. Weird. I guess that was a, a um, spoof of Plum Island, I guess, of all the crazy stuff that's coming out of Plum Island. Uh, yeah, that was... I like Dr. Weird. He was probably one of my favorite cartoon villains because he was he was a villain but he also i don't know he was he really he really didn't really get too involved with the actual storyline some of the his some of his creations did tangle in with the actual show um but and now if you want to watch the movie go watch the movie um the colon movie go watch that aqua team hunger force the colon movie go watch that that is the most weirdest freaking movie on the planet and it actually ended up in theaters that was crazy to this day that was crazy it made no it made sense but it didn't make sense you had to go in there you, if you was an Aqua Teen Hunger Force fan, you know you had to go in there with low expectations. Because if you went in there with some crazy South Park type, of ex, I mean, even South Park, that that was another show. South Park is kind of like South Park. You have to go in there just for shits and giggles. Because if you didn't go in there with that type of attitude, you're gonna be very disappointed. You're gonna go. You better go in there with a sloppy mind. Don't even expect nothing. But if you do get something, be thankful. But yeah. But anyway, this this video getting way too long, and uh, so yeah, so go check it out if you haven't seen it. This is one of my favorite shows. I've uh, been watching it since I was woo thirteen years old. There's only there's so many episodes you really can't really remember off your off the bat. I mean, especially when you start talking about it. But yeah, see you. Check you out later.